everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel this is miss may in today's travel vlog i want to show you one of my best retreat experience with my most amazing friends at the beautiful texas hill country lake lbj kingsland texas so lake lbj is officially known as lake lyndon b johnson it's located on the colorado river in the texas hill country just about one hour northwest of austin texas this place is breathtaking with all these great boating, waterboarding, water skiing, sailing, fishing, and live music of everything. And it's just so pretty to do some fun water activities at the same time enjoying that very chill Texas hill country life. Kingsland, Texas is a relatively small town with a lot of tourism and there are so many rental houses to rent for any retreat experience. In this particular experience, we had a beautiful host yoga retreat at this beautiful lake house by the river. I mean, I couldn't really tell if it's a lake, it's a river, it's a river to the lake. As a reservoir, the water in the lake are so clear, it's very optimal for swimming or any recreational activities in water, such as the water jet skis, surfing, uh, pedal boarding, of course. It's actually my first time pedal boarding, so it was a little bit difficult. There are also several restaurants and live music on Saturdays and Sundays on the weekends. It's just so much fun, and I highly recommend that sunset boat ride. Oh, so nice. And of course, if you rent a house by the lake, be brave be wild and jump into the water but don't worry that cold plunge is not so cold thanks to the texas hot weather it's actually so optimal for swimming i could just stay in the water all day long There are so many things to do and with Texas fully opened actually for a while and it's definitely a great destination for a family retreat or a friends retreat or even for a college student. It's summer, it's great and it's perfect. So at Kingsland, Texas, there are several things to do other than the water activities such as jet skis, paddle boarding. There are also a Falcon Stand castle nearby and also some historical sites. A Pack Saddle Mountain where you can go hiking. At the same time, you can go to the sandy beach at the Slab, which is famous for its formation of sap. Okay, another interesting fact about Kingsland, Texas, this is also interesting because my friend thought it was haunted because the movie, the famous movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So you can definitely visit the actual original home featured in Texas Chainsaw Massacre in Kingsland, Texas. You can do some great activities there, such as drinking the Letterface lemonade and a bloody massacre while you're there. So these are just a specialty food and drink, and it's actually fiction movie but it does bring a lot of people there regardless if it's Halloween or other seasons this horror film is classic there are also other places to go such as Grand Central Cafe and also it's close to Marble Falls Texas Hey guys, it's currently Thursday afternoon. I just took a shower before my drive to Marble Falls, Texas. So I'm um, I'm attending a yoga retreat by the lake. We're renting a lake house and then the two co-hosts are gonna uh, help us with like yoga practice in the morning and the evening and during the day we're gonna explore. I'm very excited and I'm very nervous as well because usually I travel with my husband as you can tell but today I'm actually traveling by myself. It's a women only retreat, so girls only. And I'm going to pick up a girl from Japan. I'm not going to Japan to pick up a girl. I'm picking up another girl who's actually from Japan. So I have a companion when I drive. I'm actually really grateful for that because just in case I get lost, I'm not alone because somebody else can help me to navigate. So yes, uh, look at this tan mark. Yes, every time I put on sunscreen, I always forget this part. And then this is the part that has like sunburn. But yeah, it's going to be all great. I'm going to take you guys with me in this a travel vlog and hopefully you guys enjoyed it like just in case you can make it to marble falls texas you can watch my vlog okay let's go i've been sleeping late and if i'm speaking honestly my dreams are the only place I thought of you can't bother me 
And when I'm wide awake, it takes all of my energy to tell our friends we never been this happy. It's so pretty. This is like the prettiest house around everything this is so pretty oh my gosh wow this is so pretty yeah this is actually so pretty i didn't expect this hello everyone this is yoko from japan wait she's not ready <laughs> okay hi this is yoko hi okay so we're here at the lake house it's safe. We're here on time. It says yeah. the check in time is 5 and we're here 5 00. Oh, oh. yeah. That's perfect. And then see that with me. I was lost driving to her apartment yeah. and then I was lost driving here. Okay, after you. Okay. Oh. Yeah. oh, wow. This is so pretty. Your, your dress is so pretty. Looks so pretty in the picture. We could take a picture of each other. Hey, we could take, take some photos here. Yeah, wow. Wow, it actually has swings. The glass house will come down. Just wait to hear that crashing sound. Waiting for the right. Oh my god, it's beautiful. I don't want to be foolish. Pretend we're picture perfect. Yeah. Host from a yoga retreat shared that they found this house on Verbo, VRBO, and this house is recently remodeled and it's absolutely amazing. And I love that outside patio where people can jump into the water. Okay, I am a little bit scared for that, so let's just do some swings to ease my nerve in. The host is very, very thoughtful, and I am so ready for a magical retreat. Hey guys, we're here at the Lake LBJ. This house is amazing. Now she recently remodeled this. Look how pretty it is. It's amazing that our house is actually by the lake. So it's very easy for us to do like a swim session in the morning or at night. This is like, this is amazing. Like if you grew up here and then you have water jet skis and things like that. And there's a little patio where you can eat your breakfast. So nice. So we're gonna do some yoga every day outside, I think, and hopefully oh, right, it gets cooler. All yeah. right, we're ready to go in. So let's find our room. Okay. So. A big kudos to our two hosts for the yoga retreat because oh, they were amazing to find this house on Verbal. This house is recently remodeled. I would say it's like kind of modern barn house, modern farmhouse design. It's close to the nature at the same time. It's really modern with an open kitchen. I absolutely love it. So I will put the two yoga retreat host Instagram in the description box down below. So if you're interested in the future retreat experience, like make, make sure you DM them, contact them. Welcome to a frame of memories. This is my room. It looks amazing. I really like the design of this room it is so carefully thought out. Like the whole theme is just so relaxing. This is my bed, of course. There's more mirror and look at this. This is so pretty. So there is actually a window here, but since by the bed, so they actually just covered it. But yeah, I also got a little present. Wow, one line a day, a five-year memory book. This is amazing. This is a journal. Oh, this is a really nice gift. Ooh, nice. Let's see, what's the rhino souls? I love presents. Oh wow, this is a crystal bracelet this is a crystal bracelet it's so pretty it's in this like kunzite rose quartz white jade and clear quartz wow this is really pretty okay. yeah. i think this is a candle i think two more crystals 
since we're away from the city, it's definitely important to eat something fresh. I mean, fresh from the farm. So uh, this is like such a luxurious experience. We actually hired a personal chef. Her name is Kate, and I will put her Instagram down below. I know it's such a luxurious experience to actually hire a personal chef or do catering but since we're in this retreat, I think it's a good thing just to take a break from all of the chaotic kitchen and just have the professional chef to handle it. So she mainly does French Italian, she also worked at Japanese Asian fusion place. Oh. I love Asian fusion and she has this great ability to make any food flavorful. Okay, this sounds like a commercial but look how amazing this is. I personally love to eat vegetables and vegetarian food but definitely it's hard to eat it every single meal but for real, we were eating vegetarian for the whole three days every single meal and it was amazing. I didn't want it to stop but I guess we're back to the reality after the retreat. And on top, there's fresh berries, strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries. And then this is a homemade granola. Um, the story behind it is a few years back, I had stomach issues and I was told to cut out sugar and carbs. So this granola is a nut granola. There's no carbs in it, there's no sugar in it. Oh, I put a dash of honey in it, so there's a little bit of sugar in it. Um, but yeah, it's toasted lightly and uh, full of chia seeds. Flax seeds, flax meal, um, almonds, walnuts, coconut oil. Oh, nice. So you just That's, bake it? Like, you just take the nuts and then... The um, I toss it. The most amazing part about Kate's cooking is that every ingredient that she uses, she picks up herself, usually from the fresh farm. And she also homemades everything from granola to pasta, like everything is made from scratch. She doesn't know I'm making this video featuring her, but she's truly amazing. And she's also a mom of four. So if you need someone to cater for you or a personal chef for a retreat or travel experience, definitely hit her up. I'll put her Instagram down below. Hi, this is Kate, our chef. Hi. So I'll put her information and link down below. So if you're ever here, make sure you call her. Thank you so much. I'm working with different places. Uh, I've worked French Italian, I've worked Japanese. Um, I can cook lots of different styles. I'm originally from South Africa, so I can combine a lot of different flavors. Just tell me what you want and we'll make it happen. Yeah. Yay! Thank you so much. I feel like you're a chef in Below Deck. Have you seen that show? Cucumbers, peaches, which are in season right now, and the tomatoes are from the farm. And she took the time to teach us how to make homemade pasta and ravioli. I am Asian origin, I'm Chinese origin, so I don't know how to make those foods. I'm so excited to learn. Flour, double oat, double, double oat. oat. Oh, oh. I thought the fly, and then I just, oh, just it's very extra, extra fine, extra yes. fine flour. Extra fine. Okay. Egg yolks, salt, and water, and that's all it takes to make pasta. Wow. Interesting. Oh. Okay. So, uh, just a dash of salt. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have never seen that. So it had to be some. Yeah. The filling is a roasted butternut squash Ooh, with garlic. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's got sage in it and oh. olive oil. Oh. Sage and olive oil. A sage browned butter. Um, with pine nuts. Wow, I love pine nuts. Uh, the kids call her Yaya. Mm -hmm. Like perforates oh. it. It's so cool. But like in a cute way. Amazing. Wow. 
there you go butternut squash ravioli is made oh these are so amazing i kind of want to make it at home but i'm not as talented as kate so i'll probably get some store bought <laughs> but it's actually a really good idea butternut squash ravioli let me know if you had tried it before As much as I love to go to yoga studios and those hot indoor yogas, there's something special about practicing yoga in the nature. I felt like I can truly feel the unity between my body and mind and the universe, the nature, the sunrise, the sunset. So the next day in my retreat, I just magically woke up super early. I mean, magically woke up. It's true, it's very easy just to sleep in when you have nothing to do, nothing to expect, nothing to look forward to the next day, but I just couldn't wait because it was so amazing to rise and shine. This is just a little clip of the yoga we do, but this is just me warming up before the actual yoga session with the girls. So if you're interested in taking yoga classes, I'll put all of the yoga teachers from this retreat in the description box down below. Because I really want to support these teachers and also dentists to really fulfill their dreams of helping people, healing people, not just like with dentals and everything, but also healing the mind and emotions and from the heart. I've been sleeping late, and if I'm speaking honestly, my dreams are the only place I thought of you can't bother me. If you're ever here, you'll be amazed about how calm the water is at the Lake LPJ or the Colorado River. It just feels so nice to go with the flow. And of course, it's a shame if you don't do any water activities. So it's time to jump into the water. But before that, let's fly the drone. I think one of the things I learned from this retreat is that I can actually do everything. I can actually do anything, anything that's logical, practical, and beneficial. And a lot of times I have dealt to myself that, can I actually do this? Can I actually do this on my own? Can I actually do this for myself? And it's just a lot of sort of like things that you try to talk yourself out of, things that you can actually accomplish. So if I learned anything is that I can actually drive down the road, I can take a road trip, I can drive, I can navigate, and I can fly this drone. And of course, I was a little bit lost, but hey, it has a GPS, so it's all okay. Bathroom while you fall asleep without me. And our friends, they say they want this, but they don't see that it's inevitable. And inevitably, the glass house will come down, just waiting to hear that crashing sound, waiting for the right words to tell you how. I don't want to be false. Sorry. Pretend we're picture perfect. my room everything is really nice and now oh, i didn't put sunscreen today so i'm a little bit sunburned so i'm gonna put some sunscreen and we're going to take my gopro i'm gonna go to the lake take up this and then we're gonna go swimming hey guys change of plans my gopro i charged my gopro before but for some reason it's out of battery again I think I accidentally did something. Maybe I forgot to turn it off or accidentally turn it on without turning it off. So we're here by the lake. I already put sunscreen. I am charging my GoPro right now. So after maybe 30 minutes, I'm going to go back and get my GoPro. So that's the plan. I'm so tan right now. Feeling great. No makeup makeup day is today. Yeah, feeling so tan. Oh, going strong. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go for a swim and then come back and then I'm gonna reapply some sunscreen, maybe, and then do the GoPro. They gonna hear my voice, ain't gonna make my choice. I'm gonna make some noise in my life. Okay. Okay. 
area. Let's see if it works now. Very, very, very Very, very, very excited. The good thing about river is that the water is not salty. The bad thing is, I do think salty water is a little bit clear. This, is, this one is like not as clear. <laughs> but hey, this is like nice place to swim at. And this place is so amazing. It's like a dream come true. So chill. I feel like every time I'm floating in the water, I am more grounded. It's always like go with the flow. This is like really go with the flow. When I'm done, it's gonna be the ocean. And this is like. All right, this sounds pretty embarrassing, but I'm so happy that I am with a friend. Okay, so I went on pedal boarding, but I've never done it in my life. So, okay, so the whole story about pedal boarding is that I almost flowed away. Well, it's all okay because I can swim. I can just use the board to swim back. But it was actually really hard because, you know, the other boat and the wind was actually blowing. So I didn't know how to turn around and I'm just not very good with navigating. And I, it's just like, <laughs> I'm always lost. So. I started to drift away and my friend Shivani, she is so sweet and she jumped in the water to try to rescue me but hey, at the very end, well not the very end, I just had epiphany, I was like, oh, it's this way so I turned around so everything is all okay so I'm so grateful for Shivani, make sure you check her out on Instagram she is hosting a lot of retreats for healthcare professionals and other professionals so just hit her up and oh my gosh it's what a great experience what a great experience but hey one thing that i learned from this whole drifting away experience is that just go with the flow don't panic just don't panic and you're gonna figure it out as soon as you don't panic you're gonna figure it out you're gonna be okay life lesson 101 Give me just a second, I need your attention I need your attention, baby Why, 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 why? Can't I get, can't I get Them to ever see us, them to just believe us, baby Dinner was amazing and now we're going to do a sunset boat tour. I got super 10 by the way, if you can't tell. So we're here. I think our boat guy is already here. So hopefully I can record some sunset for you guys. Yeah. Sunset boat ride is amazing. It's such a great experience to share with people you love, you care about, your friends, your family, your lover. Oh, this is amazing. And we got to this place with live music on the weekend. It's called Wake Point. So our sailor, um, he said that there are actually two places with live music, with bars and food. So if you're interested, come check it out. waves and bombs even in the calmest water it doesn't matter how calm or the peaceful the water is if you try to travel super super fast you're gonna hit the waves and the bombs but that's just the story of life so sometimes it's good to just slow down and just notice the views around us to truly enjoy the scenery in our lives <laughs> life lesson 102 
if you have a very busy lifestyle, if you are trying so hard, working so hard to help others, healing others, it's important to take some time to heal yourself, just to come down to Texas Hill Country in a small town where everyone knows everyone. It's all about the community. It's all about the caring. It's about the people. It's not about the productivity. It's mainly about how you feel and how you enjoy the life. Life lesson 103. As I'm looking back at the clips, the footages, my experience, reflecting on what I feel, what's emotional there for me, I feel like I'm so grateful for everyone, all of those small businesses, entrepreneurs, and the local people who work so hard to create this magical experience for me. And I really want to use this video as a way to shout out and make an influence to support small business owners and entrepreneurs. But hey, that's not it. We have more magical experience during this retreat coming up. When the night comes, the water actually carries a different type of energy. Well, it's because it's reflecting the moon. This is so pretty. We happen to be there during the full moon. Under the beautiful sky of Fumu energy, we have a very talented yoga nidra teacher, Dr. Diana, and a very talented sound healer and reiki healer, Dr. Delphine. The moon plays an important role in many indigenous cultures. Is that what people do when they use the real wood grill um, instead of the gas? Sometimes. Growing up in a city, I've never started a fire pit before. Actually, I felt like I was deprived of a lot of experience, but hey, in this magical weekend, I kind of experienced them all. So yeah, we started a fire pit. And the best part is that we got the marshmallows. Oh my gosh, our amazing hosts, <laughs> they prepared everything. I had never done s'mores before, which is absolutely crazy. So I really wanted to burn some marshmallows and make some s'mores while connecting to other friends, these amazing wild women who are so much fun, so intelligent and so caring and loving. I know it's summer, I know it's Texas, but there's something special about being close to a warm fire pit. I felt like it really opens up, up to share experience, stories, connecting. So if you come with families or your friends or lovers, I highly, highly recommend. What a great way to make connections and love. Such a childhood, like guilty pleasure. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, the perfect way is you have to get a little closer. Okay. You want to like catch catch the fire, like closer to the embers. It's always warmer, but you don't want to touch uh, the bottom. Okay, okay. Yeah, just close by. Okay, here you go. Thank you. I love the ceremonial delivery with the drum. How long do you <laughs> put it there? <laughs> I give you. <laughs> How long do you keep it here? Is it good? Um, you have to Ooh, keep turning good. it. So you need to. What was that? The recipe is one marshmallow, three chunks of Hershey's dark chocolate, and graham cracker. Well, you could use milk chocolate, but apparently dark chocolate is the best.
With all the fun water activities and delicious s'more by the fire pit, it's time to tune out, to sink in, and truly be connected to ourselves. To be aware of the sensations and emotions, reflect on our energy level and the environment, and everything. So. Present to you is Dr. Delphine's sound healing bowls with crystals and Tibetan bowls. And if you want a calm, relaxing session with her, there we go. I'll put her Instagram down below. Do you like chocolate? When it comes to chocolate, there's never just one or two choices. There's so many different types of chocolate. But there we go. We're trying to do the purest form of chocolate here, the cacaos. Cacaos and cocoa may sound similar, but they're actually unique when it comes to the taste, nutrition, and the cost. So cacao is a little bit pricier because it's the purest form of chocolate you can consume, and it means it's raw and much less processed compared to the cocoa powder or chocolate bars. Cacao is believed to be the highest source of antioxidants of all foods and the highest source of magnesium of all foods. It's been used throughout many cultures for years for health purposes. And even used as a high trade commodity. To prepare the cacaos to be more consumable and delicious, you can mix it with coconut oil or different types of milk, and put a little bit of cinnamon in it and a little bit of sea salt. It's very rich. You do need a blender for it, and trust me, it tastes so good. Although it's a little bit bitter, okay, it's way more bitter than the regular chocolate. There's something special about it, and it's kind of like life. It's bitter at first, but with a very sweet aftertaste. Sound healing is a practice that uses vibrations such as vocal and instrumental, like the Tibetan singing bowls and crystal bowls, in order to relax your mind and body. Some believe that it can release certain ailments such as anxiety and insomnia. There are plenty of studies on the benefits of music and sound and meditation on well-being, especially with mental health wellness. Sound healing has been trendy in the recent years because a lot of celebrities, when they deal with stress and anxiety, they use sound healing bowls and meditation. So simply put, one can feel very calm after a session and have a profound sense of well-being. The modern life is pretty fast-paced and very stressful, so it's important to take some time to relax with the sound of nature, the vibrations of high energy. So, if you're interested in trying the sessions, actually, Dr. Delphine is doing a group session on virtual Zoom, and you can actually donate. A hundred proceeds goes to purchasing sustainable dental hygiene kits for indigenous units in the North Pole. So. This is for a good cause. If you're interested, follow her on Instagram. Speaking of healthy living, I've been drinking more matcha than regular coffee. Matcha is a concentrated form of green tea. Because the way matcha is processed, it actually has more caffeine and more total free amino acids such as theanine. And then I have to bubble. Okay. Wow, the from Japan. Japan. Yes. She's teaching me. Wait. 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 How do you do the like circular motion or up? Yeah, yeah. A little bit circle and then. Wow. Hey, that is fun. Do you do it every day in Japan? No. <laughs> Not every day, but a lot, right? Theanine can reduce the stress, so it's really beneficial, and I can actually get more energy while not having the anxiety from coffee. So definitely try it out. If you're a coffee addict, as I am, maybe try to replace some of your caffeine intake from coffee with matcha, matcha latte.
We also had a private massage session from our beautiful Brandy. She has her own spa studio, so make sure you check her out. I'll put her link down below in the description box. Overall, I wish there were words to describe how grateful I am and such a beautiful journey retreat away from the city, away from everything and truly connect to amazing people and the nature and the most importantly is myself. Look at sunrise. Hey! Today is the last day. It's actually not the last day. We're just doing a little bit of yoga and then we're gonna heading back. It's been a very great experience. Highly recommend this lake house in Marble Falls, Texas. I never knew about this place. So if you're looking for a weekend getaway from the city of San Antonio, Austin, like if you feel stressed, or anxiety, highly recommend you have a weekend retreat like this to really get out, have some private massage and also yoga, do yoga on the deck and have coffee in the morning with sunrise, with flowers and a lake. This is very magical. So I will link all of the amazing people that served us, helped us in the description box down below. So go support local individual businesses, go support small businesses. We had an amazing chef, Kate, and also Brandy, our masseuse. We hired photographers, Sarah from San Antonio, and this is amazing. The lake itself is amazing and everything with it. Alrighty, that's it for today's visit. Video. I hope you enjoyed it. Verbal house. Initially, I thought it's Airbnb, but it's actually a verbal. I've been seeing commercials, but I've never used it. So <sighs> crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. In the description box down below, and I hope you enjoyed your journey as well. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I've been sleeping late, and if I'm speaking honestly, my dreams are the only place. I thought of you can't bother me. And when I'm wide awake, it takes all of my energy To tell our friends we never been this happy Waiting for the glass house to come